Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. The ninth hike. People stealing more cars than ever. She meets with Putin and a mayor takes matters into his own hands. It's all coming up. And then Bill will be here with the message of the day. But first, the Federal Reserve announced another 0.25% rate increase. Lower than previous hikes, but it's the ninth hike increase so far. And the Fed chair said the inflation fight is still not over. He said, quote, rate cuts are not in our base case, seemingly no matter how many banks fail. The Fed chair said they considered a pause in the rate hikes, but unanimously approved to raise rates due to the latest inflation numbers. Apparently, people steal a lot of cars in Milwaukee, about 10,000 a year. That's 37 stolen cars a day. Now, if you ran a city where there were a lot of car thefts, what would you do? Of course, you would increase the penalty for stealing cars. The DA would prosecute these cases more, spend more time and energy prosecuting car theft in order to keep people's property safe. Nope, not in Milwaukee. The city council voted to approve a resolution to pursue a lawsuit against Kia and Hyundai, claiming the two automakers make their cars too easy to steal. A council member said, quote, it is my hope that not only do we curb the thefts, but that the city of Milwaukee recovers some of the damages for police, fire, and any other costs that we've had to occur as a result of the negligence of Kia and Hyundai. Some major auto insurers like Progressive and State Farm have stopped covering Kia and Hyundai models in certain cities like Denver and St. Louis. Too many, too many thefts. Of course, no one here is blaming the criminals. The president of China met with the president of Russia in Moscow. Putin hosted Xi for a seven-course private dinner for four hours. Plenty of pageantry everywhere for their three-day visit. The trip ended with Xi telling Putin as they shook hands, change is coming that hasn't happened in 100 years. Putin replied, I agree. And she said, please take care, dear friend. I love when people fight back. The mayor of Florence, Italy was doing a TV interview when he looked over and he saw two climate activists spray painting with a fire extinguisher the outside of Florence's town hall building. Inside has art from Michelangelo and Donatello. It was built in 1299. So he ran over and grabbed the fire extinguisher. Police then came over and arrested the activists from the group called Last Generation. The mayor then helped clean up the building, muttering barbarians and uncivilized. In other climate news, the University of Helsinki gave Greta Thunberg an honorary doctorate in theology. Which actually makes sense. Bill, we'll be here with the message of the day. Next. Are you struggling with musty odors in your home? Eden Pure recently sent me their Thunderstorm air purifier, and I started using it. The unit plugs right into the wall and doesn't take up much space at all. My home now has a fresh, clean air smell, and I'm not the only one who likes Eden Pure. Frank H. is a loyal customer and recently said, quote, I was skeptical about this product, that it would remove the musty, moldy smell in our basement, but these odors we have struggled to eliminate for years are now gone after a few hours. The Eden Pure Thunderstorm generates O3 molecules that seek out and destroy odors, air pollutants, and mold. It doesn't mask the odors, it eliminates them. So please go to EdenPureDeals.com and use discount code BILL to save 200 bucks. That's right, you get three Thunderstorm purifiers for under $200, and get this, shipping is free. So don't wait. EdenPureDeals.com, discount code BILL. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, the people advising Florida Governor Ron DeSantis believe now is his time. They think he can win the Republican nomination and be elected president in 2024. I say the governor has a shot, but needs to study up. He undeniably has done an excellent job running Florida, but so did Jeb Bush. Basking in the sunshine is not enough to secure the Oval Office. Recently, DeSantis made a policy mistake by saying Ukraine is a dispute over territory and not a vital issue for the USA. That is a naive statement, because Putin is obviously on the march as he attempts to resurrect the Soviet Union. Enslaving millions of people is not something Americans endorse. Even more important is China's design to control Taiwan, a free state. 
If Putin wins in Ukraine, the Taiwanese are goners. The governor should know this. DeSantis also made a significant error by uttering the words porn star while discussing the Trump case. That set off the former president who heard disrespect in those words from Governor DeSantis. If he really wants the top job, Ron DeSantis, he will eventually need millions of Trump voters to support him. So he might choose his words more carefully. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Colleen, Bill, it's my opinion that if this Bragg character actually indicts and arrests President Trump, he will have done irreparable damage to our judicial system, will destroy any confidence in the system for a majority of American people. Uh, I don't disagree. I do not disagree. Lee, concierge remember, Lee gets direct access to me. If President Trump is indicted for paying a non-disclosure agreement, then he will become a martyr. Okay. In some circles, that's true. Randall Brown, Collierville, Tennessee. Curious what your thoughts are regarding President Trump calling for protests if he is arrested. President Trump should always use the word peaceful. Always. Mary Hamlet, Fresno, California. Bill, it's disturbing to me that my liberal friends want to see Trump taken away in handcuffs. They hate him. They hate him. Stephen, I don't live in New York, L.A., or Chicago. I live in a small city in Kentucky. We don't get much crime. We have churches, high school football games, family-oriented parades, schools that educate. Bill, America is not doomed. The liberal cities are doomed. Not a bad point. It's a big difference between rural America and urban America. Frank Rowe, concierge member, just joined up. So fed up with all the cable news. Good to listen to you again, Bill. Uh, become a concierge member. Frank, it will improve your life immediately and you will make money on your decision. Anthony Renzulli, New Jersey. Been a fan since I was a child, loved the No Spin News. I decided to rent Killing Jesus, the movie. I thought it was incredible. Holy Week coming up, Killing the Jesus pay-per-view movie. It's like $3.80 or something. Really, really good for the whole family. So just a tip. In a moment, something you might not know. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-925-7584 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-925-7584. That's 800-925-7584. What do you have to lose? Call 800-925-7584. Again, 800-925-7584. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Two years ago this week, Dominion Voting Systems filed a $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against Fox News and others. The company claims the network knowingly pushed false conspiracy theories about the 2020 presidential election. If guilty, the lawsuit will permanently change the cable news landscape. A similar case occurred in 2016 that completely wiped out a number of media companies. Here is the story of Hulk Hogan versus Gawker. In 2006, professional wrestler Hulk Hogan was videotaped without his knowledge while having sex with a woman named Heather Klemp. According to Ms. Clem, the video was burned onto a DVD and placed in her personal safe. 
Six years later, gossip website Gawker obtained the footage and released a two-minute clip. Hogan sued the media outlet for infringement of personal rights, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Gawker argued the wrestler was a global celebrity whose personal life was, quote, a public matter and newsworthy. In 2016, a jury awarded Hogan $140 million in damages. Gawker filed for bankruptcy a few months later. Its founder also filed for personal bankruptcy the same week. In the end, the website settled with Hulk Hogan for $31 million. The lawsuit redefined the concept of personal privacy for famous Americans. It also limited speech in the digital world. Said Hogan after the verdict, they picked the wrong guy this time. Even if we could have lost, it would have been good because people would know what these websites are all about. I expose them so nobody has to go through this again, unquote. And here's something else you might not know. While the video clip of Hulk Hogan lasted two minutes, just 10 seconds contained sexually explicit material. It is now regarded as the most expensive 10 seconds in human history. Back after this. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped 20 percent and this year could be worse. You are right to be worried. So please call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They'll show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I have been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text G-O-L-D GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.